Go a little check in with the neck. Good, second. Let's see how you're feeling or what you notice. <laughs> it cool. feels like. I don't know, my right leg feels a little different. I don't yeah. know what it is, but it feels a little yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. Stick around for the rest of this video. This is probably one of the best chiropractic cracking videos you will ever see. Crispy noises, crispy sounds, adjustments you've never seen before by some of your favorite chiropractors. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's get into it. Up next, we have Dr. Nick. Hope's coming in. You know, she's been noticing a few things. Tell me, tell the camera, tell the YouTube verse what you're noticing around like working out. So when I go to the gym, I notice that the left side of my body feels stronger than the right, especially when I'm doing lunges. Uh, we'll have you go face down. We'll check in from there. Sound cool? Yep. Cool. Awesome. And I'm gonna just look at the hips and we'll see what we notice. Usually we like to start with just a visual scan. This right hip is kind of raised up. I'm exaggerating it now but it's raised up on this side and it's down on the left, just meaning that this hip is kind of rocked back. You can see, and I'll give Bailey a second to get that awesome Bailey. Um, the right heel is shorter than the left heel, meaning that that leg is shorter. The right side's not moving as easily and that's drawing that whole right leg shorter. We'll do an adjustment here on the hip for Hope and we'll almost like side how you might lay. And I'm gonna pick this up just a bit for you. Okay. Cool. So just like that's perfect. Good, good. And then these arms are gonna come together like that. Good. So this is a good position to be able to get that hip to rock where we mm -hmm. need it to, okay? Cool. Good, second one, good. And then I have to go face down again, please. Okay. Cool. So we are doing better, we're closer, but we're still not level. So oftentimes when that hip or ilium is rocked back that same side sacrum is as well so we pressure left side we pressure right side checking for motion should be equal on both sides so with her just right where she's at we'll raise the table up and then we'll apply a little pressure right here through the sacrum you cool with that yep cool so a little pressure here usually not any popping and did i change the pressure of your legs at all or anything am i pushing in on one leg versus the other i don't think so okay so those are level there second position this is called a deerfield test stays level so we know that the hips and sacrum have been cleared they're balanced we'll get this just like this actually so nice breath in and all the way out let that go and fall on you down cool recheck that motion moving better now there's a couple other spots in the thoracics one more spot not a couple right here right anyone who works at a desk anyone who's been a student for long enough all this looking down technology all that stuff usually will manifest as like pain or tightness around the shoulders and we'll have you slide down just a bit perfect good cool so for this one i'm going to take your arms we're going to cross them over the front just like that all the way out and again and then all the way out and I'm just gonna add a little pressure at the end. Good. Awesome. Those were your first adjustments ever. Yeah. Was that what you were expecting or not what you were expecting or what's that like? I mean, I didn't really know what to expect because I've never gotten before, but yeah. I think it went good. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, guys, check in motion side to side and throughout the neck. What I'm picking up is more tension on the lower left and the upper right. So two different adjustments we'll make. First one here, you cool with that? Yep. Cool. Good. What do you think? <laughs> Was that scary at all or no? No, it's not scary. It just felt cool. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think it feels cool too. I always get so much like relief from it. Mm -hmm. It's like, even if I'm not in pain, cause you're for the most part, you're not in pain, mm -hmm. not really at all. And I'm usually not either, but I'll still get adjusted just because I want to feel better than I already am. Yeah. So, so one spot right here. Good. Hang out there. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the knees and ankles, okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. 
And then you've played some sports over the years too, right? Yeah. What sports have you played? Uh, cross country, basketball, and softball. Nice. Cool. So like I said, we were checking the feet out already before, so we know what's going on. I hope it's kind of similar on both sides where it's not the ankle so much, not high up in the ankle. The ankles are actually, she has good flexibility, good motion. It's more the midfoot for her. So good. You cool with that? Yeah. Awesome. Does that feel as cool as the neck does? Yeah, it's just different. <laughs> yeah. Just in that. Right there. Good. Feeling still a little bit of tension, like these upper shoulders, um, and even down, like in between the shoulder blades a bit. Rib cage here, okay? okay. So here, a couple click in here. This is just a spring-loaded instrument that helps okay. us adjust. We'll have your right hand rest on your left shoulder. Cool. And then I'm gonna rotate you to your left a bit. Then I'm gonna bring the hair over to that side. Perfect. So we'll be working this right side of the rib cage here. You okay with that? Yep. Cool. Good, and then let your arm relax down and you can kind of center up there a bit. So mentioned off camera a little bit of elbow stuff. Tell the camera yeah. what's going on with the elbow. It just like clicks in and out and sometimes it hurts when it's like going, popping back in. Yeah. So it's just odd. <laughs> yes. So an adjustment to the um, elbow is never going to be, you know, that hyperextension direction, especially with somebody who's hypermobile already. And if it's already moving too much, that might not be warranted for a, for an adjustment. That might be more like an exercise we might give her off camera, but we'll check in. So um, anytime someone's got an, a elbow thing or a wrist, I always like to check the other one. So let me see a little bit of, there's two bones in the wrist, the ulna and the radius. Your radius on this one just feels a little stuck. So I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It'll probably kind of clunk into place, just like the rest of the adjustments. It's not gonna hurt. It'll probably feel good but just a little flick of the wrist, so they say right here. So just let that arm relax a little more. Good, there was good. Elbow a bit. Cool, so we'll do a little bit of an adjustment here with this, usually does not pop. Good, and I'll have you extend again. Good, how often does it do that? Um. I don't really know. I just notice when it happens. <laughs> yeah, so. just notice when. If it's like, hey, I don't notice anything, then say nothing. And if you notice um, something, feel free. I mean, my right knee cracked a couple times when yeah. getting up. Yeah. So I notice the difference with that. It cool. feels like it feels a little different. I don't yeah. know what it is, but it feels a little. Yeah. Different. Yeah. But well, it's good. 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 <laughs> and then, um, so it'll be cool to hear, you know, what happens after you go <laughs> do some lunges again. Because yeah. that'll be cool to see because like the knee and the ankle and the whole hip, the whole right side, right? Mm -hmm. We had to work on a bit. So yeah. just a little bit of imbalance there, but you're all good to go now. But being this was your first ever experience with a chiropractor, just tell the camera, um, you know, if you were, if someone was debating going to see a chiropractor or anything like that, kind of just what would you recommend? Uh, I think it was definitely a good idea that I did this because I learned a lot about my body's placement and how important it is and it was cool actually getting to go to a chiropractor and getting adjusted because I didn't even realize that like once had my body that's why it felt stronger mm -hmm. and it was cool to learn about it. Up next we have Dr. Brent Binder. Uh, letting the shoulders sink, let your hips sink. <laughs> Here, just a little bit more. Yes, did you feel that? Have you just let go a little bit more there? Okay, gentle, gentle, let go, let it go. <laughs> At the top of your breath, then we push, okay? Okay. Do that breath again, in breath. Good, and out. <laughs> let your shoulders, yeah, do that one more time. Deep breath in. Good, now let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Breathe out. Oh my god. <laughs> Good, stretching the shoulder up. Good. Good. It cracked before he even cracked it. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna bring your hip down like this. A little bit more. Lay your back. That feels good. <laughs> okay, turn your head to the right. 
all the way. Keep going. Okay, back to the center. Very, very, very gently, just bringing it over for a stretch. See, good, see. Mm. Good, there's one more, a little bit lower. Good, relaxy taxi. <laughs> that was cool. I told you my toe's broken though, so be careful. Which one? This one. <laughs> Big? Yeah. I tried to crack it, but it's not cracking. <laughs> no pain there? Feel what? It gurgled already. I heard it, Did yeah. you feel it? Mm -hmm. Just let your whole body sink in. Good. We're going to bring the shoulder up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> there's more. Hold on. There's more. Good. Good. Let it all sink in. Good. Just like that. Good. Lay on your back. Bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Center, left ear to left shoulder, good center, and then push your head straight down into the table. Two, see one, good. Another breath, gentle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, well, it was good, bad. Oh, it hurts Seven, already. Six, wow. Five, four, three, two. It's all at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You're good. Just keep breathing. There's nothing to. Oh, it's all good. Perfectly relaxed right now. Just keep breathing, noticing your breath and how it's moving your body. Mm. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> Feels great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Okay, so very gentle. I'm just gonna lift your toe and then it'll crack, okay? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we find the ileocecal valve, so we find this spot in between your belly button. You've got your high waist on here. Can you find oh, your belly, belly button? button yeah. Wait, where is it? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Excuse me. Got Ow, it. I have my belly button pierced. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, and then the hip bone that sticks out right here. Okay, take these two points, mm -hmm. connect them, and then start from the middle. Sometimes it's inside or outside. Yours is right there, though. Tender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. Really? That, that was, yeah, that was the release. Oh, okay. Oh. Is it still tender here? No. <laughs> That's funny. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.